talking with Steve Gardo, so I know he's around somewhere. And we really should have a vice chair since he brought this issue up. Are, are we in session right now? I'm just concerned that we're we're sharing legal okay. advice. Well, we uh, received.
one second. Okay. Give me one second, Mr. Chairman. Okay, I am ready, Mr. Chairman, when you are. Okay, we can resume the meeting. I'm sorry, give me just a minute, Chairman. Go ahead, Chairman. We're ready. We are now the meeting of the Maricopa County Board of Supervisors. I don't know what we're hearing. Chairman, we can barely hear. There's a lot of background noise. Yeah, I think someone on the background phone needs to mute their phone. Mr. Gallardo. Mr. Chairman? Yes. Yes, I can hear you all. Okay. All right, Steve, we will uh, now start addressing item number one. Thank, thank you, Mr. Chairman. And, and uh, once again, we appreciate your your patience on this particular uh, matter and the ability to bring everyone together thank you my colleagues uh, i know we're all kind of out and about so thank you for being uh patient and being part of this important time to select the actual citizens committee um, for the vacancy in legislative 20 or district 22. mr chairman i know there's been a lot of a lot of um, uh, conversation around this issue um, it's unfortunate that we are in this position, but we will move forward. I think at the end of the day, it is critical that we um, move forward to fill the vacancy in LD22. And according to statute, uh, I do uh, would like to um, uh, add a citizens panel of five members. Three are female, two are male. Uh, all five members are well-known Democrats in the Legislative District 22. These are folks that, for the most part, we all are familiar with. At least Democrats are very familiar with these folks. They have played key roles in our community, and some have been and are current uh, uh, elected officials on, on a school board or at one point elected. Um, so I, Mr. Chairman, I would move forward that we nominate first uh, Francisca Montoya, Francisco Montoya is a uh, Fowler School Board member that resides in the uh, the kind of a, the eastern portion of the Legislative District 22. Um, I also would like to uh, nominate uh, Don Morado, who is a business owner that resides uh, in the heart of Tolleton that many folks are very familiar with. Um, I'd also like to nominate um, Sandra Cole. Sandra Cole's a retiree and has been um, a longtime um, uh, Democrat, active within the party. Uh, she uh, resides in the kind of the northern portion of the legislative district. Uh, Sandra Cole is a precinct committeeman in LD22 as well. Um, I'd also like to nominate uh, Eleanor. Perez. Eleanor is a citizen uh, taxpayer uh, right there in the middle of Tolleton. Uh, she's a mother uh, and loves to be able to nominate her as well as the fourth member. And the fifth member um, is a uh, former councilman, former legislator, Lorenzo Sierra. Uh, I would also make a motion that we uh, nominate Lorenzo Sierra to be the chairman of this uh, citizens panel and uh, hopefully they can get together and work uh, fast in order to, um, to look at these candidates and 
nominate three uh, three potent, potential candidates to be considered uh, by this board. Uh, Mr. Chairman, that is my motion. And uh, I'd be happy to answer any questions if any of my colleagues would have any. Okay, Stephen, and let me just uh, say that my understanding from the conversations that we've had since we uh, uh, stepped out of the meeting is that there's some disagreement over the original timing issue with, with the party, but they are anxious for us just to move forward with this as soon as possible. That is correct, Mr. That is correct, Mr. Chairman. I think, uh, I think everyone realizes the importance of uh, filling this particular vacancy. There's no doubt the legislature is in session. Uh, this is the time of the session in which bills are changing or flopping into other chambers. They start transferring bills over. So it is critical that uh, we move forward with this process. We have the citizens panel in place and they will be able to uh, fulfill their, uh, their responsibilities under this legislative statute. Okay, so I guess what I'm saying is that my impression is that, that they would not challenge uh, you putting this committee together to, to go forward with this at this point. It is my understanding we have received the notice um, uh, letting us know that, uh, that uh, under this particular statute that we, uh, that we have uh, the next level of responsibility of organizing an actual um, legislative uh, uh, citizens panel as stated in statute. And then you and I did check in with the uh, Maricopa County Attorney's Office and we got agreement that it was uh, sufficient for us to move forward. Is that correct? That is correct, Mr. Chairman. Okay. We have a motion. Would anyone like to second that motion? Mr. Chairman, this is Tom Galvin. I'm happy to second that motion with a comment. Okay, please. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. I'm seconding the motion, and I really want to point out and thank Mr. Gallardo for his diligence and all of this. I think what all of the county board has been through over the last few years, what we are known for is following the law and being sticklers for the law. This item for a citizen panel was already on the agenda this morning, which meant that the chairman's office and Mr. Gallardo knew full well that this is the correct path to take, the statutory path to take. I do have to point out that we did receive the notice from the state party this afternoon. Unfortunately, it came late, and I do not appreciate the tone that they wrote in the letter. I think that Mr. Gallardo is doing this in all good faith, and I think just because the state party did not fail to comply with the statutory requirements is regrettable, but that's on them. It's not on the board, it's not on the chairman, it's not on Mr. Gallardo. We've had our issues with the Republican Party, and it seems now the Democratic Party takes exception to what the board does. But once again, the board follows the law. Whether you're incompetent or you fail to do so, we follow the law. That's what we do. And I want to thank Mr. Gallardo for taking this process serious and for taking the law serious. Thank you, sir. Thank you, Vice Chair. Uh, any further comments? We have a motion and a second. All in favor, please say aye. 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 Any opposed? Aye. Aye. Motion carries unanimously. Thank you. Thank you, gentlemen. This meeting Aye. is adjourned.